アンソニーとしても知られているザ・スーパービーダウンマイケルとしても知られているザ・ミラクルSo Tokyo Game Show 2015 is right on the way. There's lots of cool games that just been announced, and we're gonna go through our top four picks of the games we've seen so far. So let's get right into it. All right, so my first pick would be a JRPG title from our favorite friends over at Square Enix called Project Setsuna. And it is an RPG is going to be on the PS4 and the Vita. Supposedly, it's going to be a global release for the game in 2016. So far, the game looks really nice. I like the visual effects they're using so far, and the colors and the art direction looks really cool. And it looks pretty promising. So far, it's only a little bit of footage from the battle sequences and stuff that they show at、um, TGS. And I'm pretty excited about it so far. Um, looks like a really cool game. Hopefully, we get more information and probably a little bit more gameplay footage in the next couple of months. But this other game that got announced, I was so excited today when I first saw the trailer for it. But then my hype kind of went away after I started looking at it a little more、uh, closely. And I'm talking about the new King of Fighters 14 that got announced today. I was pretty stoked and just completely amped and hyped for this game because I've been waiting for a new installment to King of Fighters for quite a while, especially with this little game that came in, out in China called King of Combat, which was released exclusively in China and it was only for this really like, weird online beta that they had for it. And it had a lot to do, it, and I think SNK had a lot to do with the、um, development of the game. So I was really bitter that I didn't get a chance to play it. But now, knowing that SNK is going to be doing a brand new game for the King of Fire series, I'm excited. However, the graphics for this trailer didn't look all that great. I did notice it looked quite familiar to King of Fire's Maximum Impact, which wasn't really a. I can't say it was a previous game, and it didn't really play very well. It was a fun game, but it was pretty broken. So I'm hoping that this game still retains a lot of the same mechanics that it had in King of Fire 13, even though it has these new like, 3D sprites and models that you're gonna use for the characters and everything. Only thing we know so far is that, of course, it's gonna be Kaio and Yori are gonna be fighting each other. Big whoop, they're like the flagship characters of the series. But so far, I'm pretty hyped still. It's gonna be coming out in 2016. Hopefully, more information will come out. Hopefully, the game comes out before Evo. That would be great to have, like, at least, I don't know, maybe even like an exhibition match or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this one. I don't know if they've shown everything there is to show, but I want to talk about two trails o n y that I'm particularly interested in. And there are two former Vita games that are apparently coming out. To consoles, namely the PS4, and that's Gravity Rush 2 or Gravity Days, the name I think is so much cooler, and Dangan Rampa. I, I probably just butchered that name, but that's fine. So, Gravity Rush was a game I really liked, but I found it very awkward to play. So, now that they're bringing it out to consoles and giving me two extra buttons as well as a touchpad, which may or may not be implemented. I, I'm excited because that's gonna fix a lot of what I had to say bad about Gravity Rush, besides the fact that it seemed to just kind of be a directionless game sometimes. And Dangan Ropa is just. It's just a game you have to play, and you're either gonna like it or you're gonna love it. It's a mystery based game. I love it because I love Mono Bear, I love the characters, mostly Mono Bear. And. He is a sick little bastard. I just want to see what he comes up with this time. I'm really excited to see what happens in the third installment. I'm excited to see what Gravity Rush 2 can bring to the table. What also seems to be interesting to me is the fact that a lot of usually, you know, Vita exclusive games are now coming to PS4. And, you know, that may be a topic I talk about later, but I found it very interesting, and I'm actually glad because I no longer play the Vita, and there were still some games I wanted to play. So now that they're coming to PS4, I'm kind of hyped. Those two in particular. So, yeah, that's my take on Tokyo Game Show so far. And what do you guys think? What are your favorite trailers from Tokyo Game Show? Is there anything in particular you're looking for? 
and uh yeah let me know